Here's a gas video that a lot of people's been asking for, wanting to see me do, know what I use, how I do it, all that different things. So I started playing with gas, uh, I guess probably about two years ago, and blending it and everything. I talked to uh, Mr. Robert over, he lives just outside of Atlanta. He's been blending gas, and he's been blending gas to get it to, uh, you know, a certain octane is what he's been doing. And so uh, talking to him and seeing how he was doing it and and what he was coming up with. So this is what I ended up settling on. I tried. We we have a place up north of us up at Aberdeen up our Jay Dickens racing engines. He sells the uh, base racing fuel up there. And there's something in that gas that the steels don't really like. Uh, and the steel carburetors, there's a little screen in the bottom of them in the 400 and the 362. And what was happening was when I was blending that gas, it was almost like coating that screen over. So uh, I got away from that. But, I, you know, I wanted something that's uh, a little bit more octane and, and all that and Forever, I'd always ran the uh, this oil mix right here, which is a which is a pretty good oil mix. The Husqvarna, the synthetic stuff, it's it's really hard to beat if you know if you're gonna just buy like a store bought oil mix. I, I highly suggest that right there. You know, at a dealer or something, just get that. You can order it off Amazon too by the packs there, and it's not not too bad, but. So on the gas, going back to it, and I'll get into the oil mix that I use. What this is, this is, uh, I can get, I can get 90, I can get 91 octane, and I can get 93 octane non-ethanol gas. The 93 octane comes from my fuel supplier where I get my, uh, all my fuel from, my fuel and my oil, it all comes from them. They have a, like I said, it's a, it's a 93 octane, real high quality gas. Uh, it runs about four bucks, a little better than four bucks a gallon, this last batch that I bought right here. And then the racing gas that I run, it comes from a shell station. It's out there by Magnolia Motor Speedway. It's a truck stop out there. And they pretty much have everything out there. And they sell racing gas. They have a pump that just has racing gas in it and uh it's nine dollars a gallon and i call i'm not sure who makes it or where they get it from i'm not sure but i call it power aid because it looks like uh it looks like blue power aid and it's got a uh it's got a really good smell to it too so that's what i buy from there is that this 110 octane uh this is a 93 octane a gallon of this and a gallon of that you know, so, and if I'm going to mix five gallons, I put two and a half of this and two and a half of that. So if you do the math, so I got my calculator out. So if you take 110 octane plus uh, 93 equals two or three, and you need to divide that by two. So it comes out to be 101 and a half octane. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for between 100 and 102 octane okay so the oil that i use is this right here um this is the moto this is the road racing version of their oil they've got an off-road version of it that's got a dirt bike on it but i buy the road racing version on it uh i buy it uh, quite a few quarts at a time you can see them sitting up there you can see all my chains and stuff in my chain roll but yeah this is what i use um there's several uh high-end guys this is what they use also and this is what most all the paramotor guys the guys that fly the paramotors on the wings that's the same oil that they uh that they run in their stuff too uh, it's very good stuff. I hadn't had any trouble with it or anything. And this this setup that I'm using right here, I'll try to find out what what gas that is that they have out there at the uh, at the Shell station. You know where they're getting it from. I'll see if I can find out uh, what it is or or whatever. But 
because it's not the same color as like the base stuff that I was uh, using, the base racing fuel that I was getting from Jay Dickens up there. But so I'm gonna mix up uh, five gallons of this. Uh, so I'll be, you know, again, it'll be two and a half of this and two and a half of this. I measure it because I want to be pretty dang close on it. So I have a gallon measure, it measures it up right there. So I'll measure it and then the oil then, then uh, that's what I use to measure my oil out with and and put the oil in it. So uh, I'll kind of show some bits and pieces of this as I'm going along because it's it take me just a second to do this. This is time consuming to do it, but I think it, uh, it really pays off for me in the long run, you know, with how my saw is run and, and, you know, not having any trouble with them. And this is a spark plug that I just recently replaced in the 400, my old 400, that's almost two years old. And that's the original spark plug that's in it. Look at how it looks right there. Looks pretty nice. I looked down in the cylinder on it too, and it was it was really nice in there also. So stuff does good for me. And uh, so I'm gonna keep, keep doing it like that. I've gotten to where like, I can't stand the smell like a saw running on pump gas. It, uh, I just can't stand the odor of it. This right here puts off a lot more pleasant odor. So let me get uh, let me get busy mixing some up. I have quite a few gas jugs. This is uh, I got several of those VP ones right there. I like these little three gallon ones. They're pretty dang cool. So I'll start putting the gas into there. You can measure. I mean, you don't necessarily have to measure it with a thing these measure marks right there they're very accurate too but i uh i just go ahead and do it in the gallon thing right there and normally what i've been doing i've been mixing up about two and a half gallons at a time but man i i can go through a lot of weeks i'll go through a whole five gallon at a time so recently i've been just mixing the whole five gallons at one time being done with it so that's what the 93 looks like that color Compared to that blue, I'll show the blue when I put it in there in just a second. Well, told you it still looked like blue power aid. So this is something I'll do right at the end. I pour the oil in after I put the first two gallons in. I put the oil in there. And then right as I'm getting done with the last half gallon in, I uh, put some gas in my mixing cup. And I'll slosh it around real good, and then I'll dump it to make sure that uh, that I've got it all. There's your five gallons of uh, chainsaw gas mixed up. Shake it up real good, and then I'll put it in my uh, in my combi cans and get it all rationed out there. But it don't take long. You start running these saws, man. Run them, you know, like I do. You can blow through some gas quick, faster than they hurry. You know, at the beginning of this, I said time consuming. It took me about 10 minutes, I guess, to uh, to do the whole thing right there, to put five gallons in it and get it mixed up. And I've got enough there to make up another five gallons before I have to get, get another supply of uh, some racing fuel in the 93 octane again. Be good to go. may have enough to do maybe six gallons because I overfilled them jugs this time. Yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, uh, showing how I do it, because I know a lot of people have been asking about it. And uh, so that's it right there. Y'all have a good day. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.